All right, we're back with part two of episode one. Um, we just got done talking to uh the dude with the the comb over. You it's know. Me. Harvey that's running for uh Harvey that's running for um mayor of Gotham and yeah start of episode one I guess realm of shadows well I guess that was like the prologue and this is the actual episode Who took them out? So is this like all the people? Hamilton Hill. Yeah, oh no, never mind. This face doesn't look any better. Cat burglar. Isn't that Catwoman? Yeah, Cat burglar. Right. New criminal on the scene. Tied to several recent break ins. Effective and doesn't leave many clues. Currently. Gotham has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Penguin. Hey, whoa. Tom Sandler. We met him? Oh, he was a dude on the table, wasn't he? Okay, drinking the whole bottle. Gordon, everyone knows. Vicky, smooth as hell. Falcone. Worst kind of gangster on drive. High society. Gotham City. Only 10 mil? Oh, yeah, it's basically New York. Yeah. I can silent, wait. Oh my god, that was <laughs> that's Wayne Enterprises, bro. I thought that was Wonder Woman. Not bad. <laughs> Isn't I thought Wayne was three W's. Why would it be three W's? I don't know. All right. Oh, we have another piece. Tom, yeah, I mean, deceased Alfred Pennyworth. Who? Uh, someone else. Is, all right. Oh, uh, got it. What's this? Got the feed? Mayor Hill's Gotham oh. Beautiful Act takes effect today. Make it possible um. for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law. I don't need to look at those. I mean, did. Anything else? I'm looking really weird. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the side of grapple. Uh, well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Doesn't deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Let's see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that's sharp enough. I don't know what you're trying to poke through anymore. Nearly fell off a building for this. Yeah, betcha. 
Oh, where are we? Analyze data drive at the back computer. Wait. Ah, he used the quote. Dent. Wait. How do I? Oh. Data port. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, wow. Why? Like. Can we get another chair? Oh, okay. well, bad. Excuse me. I'm not tired. Um, can I get a normal chair? Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. My man's got a... In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build My a man's got a whole gym? A sure, basketball court? Nice oh, man's a baller. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Where, where are we turning it to? Here? This is a map of the east side okay. shoreline. It could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. I mean, you're at zero percent, my dude. Time, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. Including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. Ha check the codex. But she's not. Much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. <laughs> As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. <laughs> it isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking up. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. No, I'm not <laughs> partial to heights. <sighs> oh, no worries, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. To 
Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Six a.m. Who? Why would you get up six a.m., bro? Up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now? I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change. Yeah, no, years. it's definitely if not. I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. <laughs> worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Oh, is it like a dump now? Pretty sure it is. Was it like, yeah, it is. Orbital, uh, up Where are you, Oz? I could not read that. Old part, I think it was. Look at reason. Wayne Sean's Falcone. Okay, that's cool. This happened literally six hours ago, my dude. How, how is it on the news? I want to look at the. Okay. My oh, man, let's pull out the hundred dollar bills. Uh, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. Come on, game. I know damn well you can give me better than that. It's 6 a.m., and you're telling me you're cold? But no odds. No, time to look around. I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this shopping cart. Hmm. This is a nice fucking. Uh, yeah. Hey, beat it. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, morning to you as well. What does that say? I can read it. Zone? I think. Covenant Park, 19. This isn't what it used to be. Okay, don't let me read it. That's cool. Is it J Bo? J J Ro? I Ro? Okay. Uh, the statue. Beer can, monocle. Person behind you. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Why can't you just you give it to him? Mistake. You already made one. Come in here. Next one kills you. End him. <sighs> Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. In the moment! Come here! Think that'll do? Oh. I, I, okay. Stay down! You 
used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh damn. Got him. Oh, okay. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh Hey, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Just thank him. Just thank him. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park? Used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a shame what happened. It Damn. was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum, well, if Harvey did. Yeah, never mind. Dad, ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm. I'm sorry, guys. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Foreshadow. It'd be a treat to watch him in pavement. I'm just saying, I, I have watched... Sorry, mate. The first episode of this right? before, so I do know what happens. Be on the Not a hundred percent, but I know how it ends. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Like I know we have to go to Which some brings me to you, Bruce. thing See, next. You throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. When my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Okay. Um, let's go. Cool. Press conference for the whole hospital starts. I couldn't read the second message. Okay, something happened. You guys can read it. Pulling up on that Ferrari. 
or Lambo. I, I can not tell. Right here. This way. Yo, Rose, Jennifer Rose. Lawrence again. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Oh, he's so ugly. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. Ah. Uh, well, we didn't uh. bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a right. cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, Jennifer Lawrence. Ground state-of-the-art mental health care facility one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come and mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say Bruce my parents loved Gotham they invested their blood sweat and tears in this city hmm. you know when I was uh, nine years old my parents took me to see a movie about a hero okay it was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice no matter the cost that night my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man I needed the kind of help this new facility will provide my parents were heroes that night and we can all learn from their sacrifice today on the anniversary of that fateful night we on the anniversary to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham I'm a uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Falcone will remember is, that. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this? Evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. 
Oh, so Falcone probably set me up or anything, something. Just fake this whole thing up. Uh, dang it, I should have shook his hand. Not really. Hey, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Okay, so Hill's corrupt. Mayor, he calls the shots. Okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block. Here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. How oh, damn it, people. Oh, let me guess, there's like something in the back or something. Her parents. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, okay. you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they, they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a wayne Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is... Oh, wait, sh should, I, should I have told him the truth the then? That it's Red Coney? You're the first target on Hill's list. 
By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I don't care, like, one of You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Wayne's always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Alright, uh, Alfred's gonna see some stuff. I already know. Everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. But my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. He's working with Frank County. Come evil one day, accidentally. But yeah. Hey, Jennifer Lawrence, how you doing? A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. You owe me an explanation, and I will get you one, straight from Mayor Hill's mouth. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? You? Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just... Oh, I wonder what happened to your uh, eye. Oh, hey, what happened to your, uh, You didn't things? tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. That. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Mm. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? Oh, damn. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work. People tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. 
Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Girl, you got some talking to do. Or we can just have a stand compass. That's cool. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas. No one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something now. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you. I don't need one. I do this because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No. We've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. No, oh, look at her hands. My contact. Okay. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. <sighs> Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. What? I'm already in my suit. You're telling me she wrote all that in like three seconds? Dang, bro. Skills. 